Hi, it's Chad C. from C Real Estate in Richmond, Virginia. And what I would like to talk to you about today in the line of advice to new real estate agents is the importance of having and maintaining a schedule. Uh, not just any schedule, but a schedule that brings about productivity. Now, everything I'm saying here is predicated on the idea of the real estate agent wanting to be exceptional, extraordinary, above average. And to do so, what we have to realize is that as real estate agents, we are independent contractors for the most part. We're left in most cases to structure our day however we see fit. And this is treacherous for some real estate agents because it's so easy to uh, come into the office, and that's an important first step, by the way, to, to show up. Half the battle sometimes is just showing up and being there. But upon getting to our office or our workplace, it's so easy to hang out, to wait for the phone to ring, to chat with our friends. In reality, we live in a cause and effect world. Uh, the more you put in, the more you get out. You reap what you sow. So as a real estate agent, we want to be doing activities on a daily basis that bring about sales, listings and sales, business. And as we sit down to order our schedule for the day, it has to be a schedule where the majority of our day is spent doing three things. Looking for people who want to buy or sell real estate, beating the bushes, meeting with those people, explaining to them what we can do to uh, solve their problems, to meet their needs. And then lastly, helping those same people negotiate contracts to buy or sell real estate. That's what we want to be doing. And it's a pipeline that we have to keep filled uh, with leads. It's all about lead generation. So how do we spend time finding those leads? Well, we're on the phone, we're calling our database, we're asking folks if they've heard of anyone wanting to buy or sell or if they themselves have given it thought. We might be knocking on doors, we're following up with old leads that we've found. And the bulk of the real estate agent's day has to be spent doing that. When we're not looking for them, we're meeting with them, we're helping them negotiate. And if you're just starting out and you're on your own, a portion of your day, you want to keep it as small as possible, but a portion of your day has to be spent with following up with lenders, checking on the status of loans, ordering inspections, administrative tasks, courier work sometimes. As you grow and you're able to hire assistants to help you with those things, ideally you want to get to the point where all you're doing is, is lead generation, looking for new business, and then meeting with and helping those people you find. So that's something to shoot for. That's the ideal schedule for a real estate agent. And I hope that helps you today. Have a great week.